we love looking at ceramics and bottles like these because they really help us to narrow down the different range of dates uh, for these shipwrecks and sort of create a chart of potential date ranges. But then, of course, is there a nationality issue that comes in? I mean, would different jugs have come, shaped jugs have come from different places as well as been used at different times? Yes, absolutely. But because these vessels are often involved in trade and visiting many different ports, um, you, you know, it's not necessarily a, a place of origin or a place of destination. It, it can be met in the middle, you know, and uh, be traded around. Like many of these jars, they're used over and over again. Right. Got ya. And also, some of these container types were heavily imported uh, all over the world and in the United States. So having a, a foreign manufactured object being used on American vessels, for example, would not be uncommon at all. So therefore, it's still a bit of a mystery. <laughs> and um, that doesn't still really help. Yeah. OK, got you. OK, Pilot, we're happy also to carry Mexico, on. Mexico, New Orleans particular is a very cosmopolitan port, so there are objects from all over Europe, uh, South America, Central America. When we make the turn past that large jug that we're looking at now, it would be very helpful if we could see the other side of it. Sure. Yeah. Pilot, just as we're passing this large jug we were just looking at, we just wanted to see if we could see the base of it. So it may just mean you, yeah, spinning around. Thanks. Sometimes the bases contain maker marks or other um, information that can be helpful as well. I don't know what that is. Almost looks pallet. Jack, which thing are you referring to? This this object that we're looking at right now, I guess it's just a glare off the light. It case. looks ceramic. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, it sort of looks similar in coloring and to that water filter that we have. Hmm. It has sort of that metallic finish. Right. Scientists ashore, this is Chuck again, is it unusual to see uh, remnants of wood um, after effectively a century and a half or a couple of centuries? I know there are um, pteridinids, the shipworms in deep water, the xylophaga, um, and um, I, so I was just wondering if this is unusual or commonplace. Well, it's not unusual. Most of the wrecks that we've seen in the Gulf of Mexico have some remnant of all. Uh, it may be highly deteriorated. But one thing about the reason copper was put on the outside of the hull was to prevent uh, things like tornado worms from uh, eating the wood itself. So the presence of that copper still serves as a um, biocide. So Oftentimes, what wood will be preserved has been impregnated with, with some of the, the copper from sheathing. And so, as a result, it hasn't been uh, eaten around along with the rest of the, the wood that has been. Uh, thanks very much for that. Yes, that's interesting. <laughs> 